Greetings in the name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Welcome to the channel and welcome to yet another conference. All honor, glory, and praise be to our one and only Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Well, today I wanted to come um, before you all to discuss a um, very popular topic, I feel, and that is the topic of um, marriage versus single life. Um, is it a good thing to get married or is it a good thing to get to stay, excuse me, to remain single, um, especially when we fully see what type of world we live in now, as opposed to how people were during biblical times, um, as it pertains to relationship and marriages and courtship. So let's talk about it. Okay. Now, in this particular painting that I have displayed is basically of um, Naomi and Ruth. It is a very old painting, and um, it's not shown in, in its entirety, but it's a very old painting. And many people, um, I'm sure you are familiar with the story of um, Ruth and Boaz. And um, I wanted to talk about today, is it realistic to feel that uh, there are men like that in the world today and even for the fellows out there that may be the good guys Are there any women out there that are um, Proverbs 31 women, you know of a good quality because a lot of times uh, What people do they'll read stories in the Bible and then they will try to make those stories or those people compatible um, with um, I don't know if that's the correct term, but they will just try to yeah, you know, they will compare um, who those people were during that generation to the hearts of man today. And although, you know, we know that there is nothing new under the sun and that, you know, this world has always been engulfed with wickedness. But I must also um, emphasize that the heart of man, humanity has changed. Um, the world only got worse and worse and worse. Um, from the um, birth of sin, you know, from uh, Adam, you know, from the original transgression. So meaning, this is how I'm trying to word it, um, when the seed of sin took root and started growing in Adam and Eve and Cain and Abel and their wives and their children and so forth and so on, on up to our generation, it only, things only got worse and worse and worse. Um, I do believe that Adam and Eve had a rocky marriage, of course. It didn't initially start off like that. But sin entered the scene. And when sin enters the scene, sin changes things, okay? Because sin is like a cancer. It will eat at you until it destroys you. Sin is an infection. Sin is a virus. Uh, sin is an invader. Sin is something that is not supposed to be in fruition. And um, I just feel like that. It is an unrealistic expectation for people to feel like that in this day and age that people are going to come across people that had the passion and the romance and the loyalty and the type of heart that the people of biblical times had. And now I, 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 nobody has to agree with me. I'm just speaking how I feel about the matter. Um, I know there are some good people out there, but I, I personally, I just don't see uh, people, a lot of people that have the heart. I know they're good people out there, but I just don't see people that have the hearts like the people in biblical times had. I'm not saying those people were perfect. No, there were some extremely wicked people um, that were on the face of this planet during biblical times. Look at Cain. He killed his brother Abel. You know, look at Pharaoh. He, he was wicked. And, um, you know, the people that um, held the uh, Israelites in captivity, they were very wicked people. Um, what's that? There was a man in the Bible that... Um, he uh, sexually violated his own sister um, and uh, just all sorts of evil things. Look at what uh, Joseph's brothers did to him. You know, they threw him into a pit, you know, out of jealousy and lied to his father and told his father that a, a beast or something had came and eaten him and destroyed him or something like that. And that was a, a blatant lie. You know, so, I mean, wicked people have always been on the planet, of course, but, you know, since the fall of man. But, you know, there were also some good people out there. 
and there were some people that had very easygoing hearts, hearts that were uh, susceptible to true love and romance and passion and all of that. And I think that because of the spirit of lust and greed and um, uh, selfishness and uh, materialism and all that, I, I just feel like that the hearts of humanity have changed. And, and that's the reason why, you know, uh, men, I feel like they don't court women anymore. They're not interested in women. They're more interested in each other. And I know there are other factors that can come into play as it pertains to that because a lot of them have been sexually violated because, like I said, uh, uh, you know, um, I, I don't want to get into that right now. I, I'll just leave that alone. But, you know, it, it turned them on to unnatural affections. And same thing with the women. So this world, it, it just got worse and worse in its progression of sin. Um, that stemmed from the original transgression committed by Adam in the Garden of Eden. Um, but getting back to um, the subject matter of marriage in this day and age and courtship, courtship, excuse me, I want to talk about the things that you will have to sacrifice. And then um, I want to talk about, you know, whether or not people are willing to sacrifice. For those that are thinking about getting married, uh, you will have to make a lot of sacrifices. For those of you that want to stay single, you will have to make sacrifices as well. Um, nobody, Again, this is just how I feel about the matter. Nobody has to agree with me, but I know what I'm talking about. Um, <clears throat> the, many people, I believe they meet people and they are attracted to them. They like what they see. They like what they hear. They decide, this. I want to spend my life with you. Um, I'm not saying that's a factor, not a factor, but... Some people move too quickly. They move too quickly. It's okay to um, be attracted to eye candy. <laughs> it's okay, and, and that that means somebody that's you know attractive. And everything isn't about attractive. You know, beauty is in the eye of the beholder. A lot of people say, which you know, I'm I'm gonna leave that alone because I bet the differ on that a little bit. But I'll leave that alone because most of the time, if people are attracted to people, they find them attractive. And then when they are turned off to people and want to separate, they're no longer that attracted to them. So now they have to ask themselves, was this person attractive in the first place or was this all an illusion created by the devil? See, we can go many different avenues with this subject matter and I don't want to go too broad off the topic, too far off the topic. But um, with marriage, you're going to have to make sacrifices because um, if for those of you, if you are accustomed to living single, you're going to have to give up the single life. And a lot of people, the mistake that they make, they don't want to give up the single life. They want the person in their life. They want the union. But they don't want to give up their life. And marriage is sacrifice. <clears throat> Being single is sacrifice. Um, for those that have decided to be single, well, you might find yourselves doing some lonesome periods of time. You know, um, by yourselves a lot. Um, Apostle Paul talked, spoke about um, people that, <clears throat> with, excuse me, with, choose the single way to go and uh, he was talking about how those people will have trouble in their flesh so meaning um, for those of you that are single if you are believers the trouble that you will have in your flesh is that you cannot uh, submit yourselves to fornication no matter how you feel you can't do it I mean I'm not saying people don't do it of course they do it but I'm just saying it's a sin and then they have to go repent and then after God forgives them they have to live with the decision that they made and then they've got, they've got to wait till that wears off and they come to some sort of peace within themselves for what they did against them, their body, themselves, and God. And then, um, so that's a sacrifice that people have to make. And um, and being single, it, it, it is what it is, being by yourself. I don't think it means that people can't go out on dates and things. But um, as a believer, for believers, it can't go any further. It can't end up in the bedroom. 